I've always been interested in artificial intelligence, ever since I read William Gibson's book, Neuromancer. Uh, being a bit of a science fiction nerd, age 14, I saw that you could do a degree in artificial intelligence, and I thought, that sounds really interesting. And I've been doing it ever since, pretty much. Because it's really interesting. The things I've done this week, I've been lecturing second year students in JavaScript. Last Thursday I was pretending to be a robot boat, testing my PhD student's robot aeroplane blimp thing, paddling about in a kayak on the Irish Sea. Uh, and I've been marking courseworks in programming and the, the variety of work and the variety of different things you can do with an IT and computer science degree are huge. And the profession is full of really interesting stuff. I mean, biology, I think biology is going to end up being pretty much a branch of computer science soon. And geography, for geography, for if you're looking at things like geographic information systems and the kinds of data that they're dealing with in a lot of the life sciences, actually computer science is absolutely central. And I think you can get into any field you like with computer science skills now. I think something's putting children off technology, and I think that's girls and boys. Um, and I think there's a real problem um, with people seeing computers as consumer devices. And I think, I think tablets have got a lot to answer for here, because a tablet is a, it's a, it's a piece, it's a sealed unit. You cannot create computing stuff on a tablet. You need an actual computer to create things that you then put on a tablet. Um, and most people's interaction with computational devices now is via touchscreens, I would say. Is that true? Maybe it's 50%. But a large amount of people's interaction in the UK with, with computational devices is via touchscreens. And it, it becomes a, a, a job of using rather than a job of creating. It's not like when you've got your ZX Spectrum, which probably gives you my age perfectly, and you type in the code from the magazines and then you type it in again because you had a typo on line 50. And, but but you, 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 you have to interact with the machine and you can see, oh, well, what happens if I change that colour and all the cars in your game become blue instead of red? And you begin to see that you can alter things, whereas computers as a con sort of consumer device don't give you that creativity. I think what we need to do with regard to schools is we need to get into schools and be enthusiastic for decades what's been going on in our secondary schools has been something called ICT and ICT is spreadsheets and I love computers and I'm the biggest nerd you can imagine but if I was doing a course that was just great spreadsheets I would be so bored and I would think I'd look at this and I think this is not what I want to do in my life yeah if they're making apps if they're making things that they're making games they're looking at how you can use computers to interact with the world physical computing so the whole Arduino movement where you're getting things to light up lights and stuff um, makes people see the computer as a tool that enables you to change things that happen in the world just using your ideas, yeah? When you're programming, you're building something out of ideas, and if there's nothing, if there's anything more exciting than that, I don't know what, what, what it is, yeah? Programming is you have an idea for something, and you implement it in the computer, and then you've built something, and it works, or well, it doesn't. But you, you, you're making things out of thought. Um, things like Arduino, um, and the, the basic electronics kits that make that kind of low-level computing accessible to more people are really good with kids. I've done an Arduino workshop with kids age I know, 9 to 15, and we get them using lily pads, which is a type of microcontroller that works with conductive thread rather than with electronic soldering and so on. So instead of soldering and wires, you're sewing. So you've got a bunch of people and they're building circuits and they're making lights light up and they're writing programs that go on the microcontrollers that make the lights do different things in response to switches. But because they're doing it with sewing rather than soldering, it's got a slightly different demographic appeal. Um, boys, love it. boys love it too. You know, they're, they're building gauntlets with LEDs on the knuckles that make a pattern like Knight Rider, yeah? And the girls are making things for their bags where the cat's eyes flash and stuff like that. But it brings the computing into the physical world. And in that case, what you're doing is you're coming up with an idea, you're building something, and you're, what your program does is it changes something in response to the environment. And I think that, that kind of playful computing, physical computing, interaction, really, really brings it home to kids. Have fun. I think my main 
thing about career in computing is that it can be really fun and computing can be a really inspiring field to work in. Um, if you want to earn bucket loads of money in an office in finance computing, you could do that. Some of the people that are from the lab where I did my studies in Leeds are now working in the city and earning absolutely massive amounts of money. I earn considerably less and I live on the seaside and I pretend to be a robot boat in March falling in the sea. There's all sorts of things you can do with a degree in computing. Choose a thing that you like.